Alrighty, in today's video, we're taking a look at the GPC case for the DJI Avada. Now, this is one of two different cases that they are releasing in 2022. So they have this one, which is the larger of the two, and then they have one that's a little bit more compact. Now, the benefit of this one being the larger one, you can fit your goggles, your RC, you can basically fit a heck of a lot more in this case than you can in the smaller one. So there's definitely some benefits of the larger one. That's why I was most interested in looking at this. Let's get started. What's good everybody, Ken here. You're watching Original Dobo. Today we take a look at the GPC case. This is the brand new case that they have just released for the DJI Avada. Now really quickly, if you're enjoying these reviews, you're enjoying all the Avada content, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss any future videos just like this. But with that being said, let's go ahead and open up this case and see what it's packing. Alrighty, so inside this case, this being the larger of the two cases, boy oh boy, we have a lot of room. Obviously, right here to the left-hand side, we have the spot for our DJI Avada. To the right of that, we have our spot for our goggles. One cool thing is that this is ag an agnostic case, meaning that it's going to work for the version two goggles and the goggles too. So no matter what you're flying, you can just go ahead and just remove this spare foam here and bam, you can put your goggles too or your version two goggles in place, I should say. So goggles two, version two goggles. That is a really bad naming schematic, as you can tell, easy to confuse. Up at the top here, you have a spot to go ahead and put your RC. You have a spot for four batteries. Technically, this case can house up to five batteries, one inside the drone, of course. Two slots here for the FPV goggle batteries. A slot up here where you can put the charging rail. Some spare slots here, and oh, I think they gave us a lanyard with this. They did, so we have a GPC lanyard that came with this. Nice little touch. Underneath the drone, we have an area for the motion wanker. You can put some other, you know, sort of um, miscellaneous things in here, such as ND filters or charging cords, so you can store all of that up underneath here of the Avada. So let's go ahead and grab some of the accessories so we can see how this all packs in. So let's go ahead and start off with the RC. We're just gonna slip it in here. Notice how I have the sticks on. That's again, a nice idea uh, that they have here is you can go ahead, stow everything ready to fly. Let's go ahead and grab some batteries. Go ahead and throw battery one in here. Oh, battery two. Battery three and battery four. So four batteries, of course. And then we'll go ahead and grab our charging rail. Go ahead and put that in there like that. Let's see, we've got two goggle batteries. So I'll go ahead and throw those in here as well. Then, of course, we have our goggles. Now, these are the goggles too, but if you're not flying with the goggles too, again, all you have to do is remove that foam piece down here and you can slide in the version two goggles, which obviously I get the two confused. Now, I do have my strap it on here. So there is some slots here where they do have additional foam that sort of sits like this to keep them locked into here a little bit more comfortably. But because I have my battery strap on, I'm going ahead and removing that so I can fit this in here nice and snug. So I'll just go ahead and put that just like that. And those fit in there perfectly with my strap so I don't have to take anything off. So essentially I have one, two, three goggle batteries thanks to my strap in. Then of course we can go ahead and grab our motion wanker. That's gonna go down here, just like so. And then if you have any sort of ND filters, these are the DJI ND filters, we can go ahead and put them in this little compartment here. So ND filters go here, motion wanker, cover that back up, and actually that goes like that. So everything's nice and covered. So now the only thing left we need to do is grab our Avada. Oh. Let's go ahead and set the Avada in here. And there we go. Now everything is loaded in here. So everything you need to fly, ready to fly at a moment's notice. And then all we gotta do is sort of close the lid. So that's it. That's the big GPC case for the DJI Avada. It is packing a hell of a lot here. So I should probably put my lanyard on so I don't lose this one. Lots of room, lots of space, so that way you're ready to fly. Now you probably saw something as I was putting that Avada in, so I just wanna go ahead and open this up one more time. So everybody's been asking me, where is your battery strap? When is your battery strap coming out? Well, we're not calling it a battery strap. 
We're actually calling it the jock strap. This is actually the BK jock strap named after Billy Kyle for all the times that he prematurely ejected his battery. He did come dislodged. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> now it's taken me quite a little while to get this perfected and mostly because I found a, a common flaw with all of the straps that were being created, which was the fact that everybody's using 3D printers. And the problem with 3D printers is the fact that they suffer from layer separation. Now, layer separation will typically affect things going vertically because these are typically printed you know, up and down. So what was happening was they were breaking off at these little pieces that go down into here, essentially locking the battery into place. So what I did was I changed out all the printers that we used to use for PLA and I opted to go with resin printers. Now, obviously resin printers bring a lot of drawbacks, which I'm not gonna talk about in this video, but there's a lot more pros than cons. I'm also using industrial strength resin here that is impact resistant, shatter resistant, and a little bit flexible to be able to handle this. It also allows me to print a lot more tighter tolerances to be able to make designs like this, which look almost injection molded. Now this design here is called the jock strap, and the way this works is you're essentially just going to pull that tab, pop your battery out, and then put it back in. Nice little firm snap, and it's in there. Now I've been testing this, basically throwing this around, crashing it, trying to break it, trying to get the battery to pop out, and so far with this design, I have been unsuccessful. So I'll just bring this up here closer so you can see it, and yeah, you're damn right it says jock strap. Why wouldn't I put that there? We are printing it in this gray because this is the industrial strength resin. I am contemplating getting some dye so I can actually dye these black, but for the first couple of batches, they will only be in gray, unfortunately. And as always, because this is something you're going to use often, I recommend picking up a few of these just in case you do break them, lose them, or they end up wearing out. Because again, at the end of the day, it is made out of a material that can wear down over a period of time. It is designed to be super tight. So you will notice you'll get some like sort of dust here on your battery where it will like lightly scuff the surface. That's perfectly normal. Just wipe it down and it's going to be fine. The tolerances are tight so that way this does not move and uh, so it also does not preload any of the energy that would cause this to break. That was again the biggest thing I seen with all the designs is that th they were just they were flawed because there was too much layer separation. And trust me, I printed them all to figure out what is going to work best. You can also still tap your battery seeing that. And uh, yeah, you still have access to all those things. So there will be a link in the description if you want to pick up the jock strap. Um, right now, I am doing this as a, uh, a first come, first serve. I'm only going to have probably about 20 of these available when they first launch. Luckily enough, because again, we did change our tactic with printing these, we are able to print these a hell of a lot faster. Now, it is 85% effective during a crash. And I have to just throw those numbers out because that's just realistic because there may be a crash that you sustain that this thing is not gonna walk away from. So even if the battery is still in there, it may not turn on still. So just know that, you know, it's not 100%, it's 85%, which is better than the percentages that you were getting before when this thing did not exist. But there you go, that's the jock strap. Uh, link below, GPC case. If you're interested in that, there is a link for this as well. You can pick it up from Droneworks or any of your favorite retailers that sell GPC cases. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Stay original. Uh, I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gonna call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you talk about the camera. Fuck you, you goddamn seagull. I'm gonna kill this bird. I'm gonna kill you. Shh, shh. Three, two, one. I can't do this bird. We gotta go.